Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. The Sunday Book Review for the last day of January, January 31, 2021, the Leadership Edition. Number one, Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. Like many great leadership books, Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek draws inspiration from military principles. The concept in question, high-ranking officers eat after their men, putting their reports needs before their own. Sinek makes the case that people-first leadership makes crews feel supported and respected. These feelings in turn compel employees to exhibit loyalty and exceed expectation. Sinek states that trust and psychology are the keys to excellence, illustrating their arguments from multiple examples from different types of organizations. Notable quote, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Next up, Lean In, Women Work in the Will to Lead by Sheryl Sanderson. This book by Facebook executive Sheryl Sanderson is one of the most popular leadership books for women. Inspired by personal experience in a TED Talk Sanderson gave in 2010, Lean In details the ways women hold back and miss career opportunities by being passive and polite. Sanderson encourages women to seek strong mentors, advocate for themselves, and assert their place in the business world. These actions can empower women to transform leaders instead of being merely accepting assigned roles. Although the book is a few years old, the lessons are still relevant given the challenges to women's careers and the workforce Lean In is worth a revisit. Notable quote, in the future, there will be no female leaders, just leaders. Next up, the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, Follow Them and People Will Follow You by John Maxwell. If you don't know who John Maxwell is, uh, you should Google him and figure it out because in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, he outlines clear guidelines for leaders to follow, to maximize, influence, and ensure employees achieve a common vision. The book shares wisdom, such as leadership develops daily, not in a day, and leaders understand that activity is not necessarily accomplishment. The book explains each rule plainly and provides anecdotal examples covering every aspect of leadership from attracting and forming teams to securing legacy by planning for succession. Notable quote, if you can't move people to action unless you first move them with emotion, the heart comes before the head. And finally, Dare to Lead, Brave Work, Tough Conversations, Whole Hearts by Brene Brown. Dare to Lead shares lessons on powers of vulnerability and empathy in leadership. Renowned courage and shame researcher Brene Brown makes the case that leadership is not about status or control, but rather recognizing potential in individual and ideas. Dare to Lead presents a guide to becoming a more courageous and confident leader. The notable quote, I define a leader as anyone who takes responsibility for finding the potential in people and processes and who has the courage to develop that potential. Today's books come from the blog site Team Building, so shout out to them for having some great uh, resources and particularly around leadership books. I'd like to tell you about some upcoming podcasts which will premiere in February First of all, in the compliance life, we will have Natalia Shaheda, who is the Chief Compliance Officer at ABB Lumis. Next up, uh, we're st- I'm starting two new podcasts. One is ComTech on the intersection of technology and compliance, and that's with my colleague Valerie Charles. Stephen Martin and myself will start Big Brains in Compliance, conversations with people who've come up with new creative or even interesting ideas that have moved the compliance ball forward. Check them out on the Compliance Podcast Network. And finally, I'm moving into the video world a little bit by exploring a new podcast series that's both audio and video called The Compliance Handbook. Many of you know I've done a series for some 14 months, 31 days to a more effective compliance program. I'm going to move that into a new series, The Compliance Handbook. So that will be out the second week in February. Thank you for joining me again on this edition of the Sunday Book Review, and I hope you'll join me again next Sunday.